Okay. And uh, it's pretty much set up. You're just so do I just, I go like this on the way back? Or do I do it like this? Dude, you don't need to pay attention. All you need to do is pay attention to your body. Oh, that you know, I can do. Just think, like if you- very in touch with my body. Yeah, yeah. as you touch should be. Yes. If you can feel it, yeah. like in your upper abs, then you're doing it right. Okay. And then you feel that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. see how that's clean? Dude, you got it. Very cool. I'll set up another We are behind the orange curtain today. We're here to visit our friends at Hurley. Ryan invited me back and they said this time bring the entire design team from the hundreds down. We're gonna go through Hurley headquarters. We're gonna see the history of Hurley and what they've accomplished in surf and Southern California culture over the years. JP is gonna take us through the screen printing process. He's gonna explain the history and why it's important to Hurley and he's also gonna show us how we can do it ourselves. It's a really simple process that all of you guys can pretty much mimic at home as well. So uh, jump on in, let's have some fun. In here we kind of highlight one of the brand pillars which is artwork and part of that is uh, functioning sculptures which is how the brand got started. Bob's been shaping surfboards since the early 70s and I think he's shaped, he said over 15,000 boards. So this is his shaping bay and uh, that's a Skill 100 planer that's sitting on a Clark foam blank. Over here you can see surfboards that we've collaborated with various artists. This is one of uh, Rabbit Bartholomew's boards and he was I think a world champion and he was one of Bob's first pilots back in the day. So When Rabbit came to town my dad was shaping surfboards for him and he was like, hey, Rabbit, like, you're, you're cool. You could come surf out here in the bowl with us. And Rabbit was like, nah, I'm going to stay in here with the kids because that's where I get all my inspiration. You guys go ahead and do your like, cool guy thing out there. And so that little kind of point of view or little nugget that, that Rabbit shared with my dad just kind of incubated into what blossomed into Hurley and said, like, I'm going to do this thing that's more inclusive and it's more about the kids. So that's, that's kind of why this is here and why it's like a reminder, you know? So uh, now we're going into like our product engine. So everyone from designers to product line managers to production, pretty much everybody who you know works on product works in this building right here. So this is our music studio. It's run kind of similar to the printing press where it's a not-for-profit art platform where we can collaborate with artists or just give them the resources that they need. We've had uh, you know, all kinds of bands come through and use, use our place. We've had Social Distortion, No Effects, Alkaline Trio, you know, Bad Religion, The Sounds, all kinds of bands come through and do stuff here. So this is basically our version of a gymnasium where you can go and blow off some steam. A couple months ago, Jason Maloney invited a bunch of artists to come and do their throw ups in here. So, seventh letter guys, some MSK dudes. It's pretty cool. You get a lot of kids in here, you know, sweating it out and sharing the stoke. So, this is Josh Greelock, one of our hired hands and hired minds. He's super integral for all of our like environmental art installations. A lot of the handwork that you see on murals and stuff comes from his wrist. He actually is set up doing some blanks for the additions we're going to be painting later. But uh, we wanted to give all you guys a shot to pick up the paint gun too. Well, we're using water-based paint, so this stuff, depending on how hot it is, it's pretty hot in this container usually, so the dry time is about 10 minutes or so. For me, it helps if I just basically like totally let go of my humanity and just become a robot. Put your mind on autopilot and just like meditate on the paint, you know? Hey, the gradient game's off the chain, player. My gradient, it came out real good. Look at that. We're at the Hurley headquarters. Uh, right now we're in the screen printing room area. The guy was going over the printing process, how all the inks work with different papers. Um, and yeah, just learn, learning some new things today. A lot of people refer to screen printing as silk screening because it used to be stretched silk. And then in the last 40, 50 years, they moved to a synthetic mesh. And that's just uh, easier, you know? It's just um, what we use today. So, all right, let's get after it. 
What do you think? It's Thai. This one go behind my neck. Oh, this one here. Yeah. Okay. No, get everything inside. No, <laughs> be oh hug. Be hug. <laughs> ah, yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Easiest part, close the buns. We got this nice little wheel here. Throw it on. Now you're cooking. First, you're gonna wanna...